So we're here for something pretty special today. There. These are very limited edition golf clubs. Golf clubs that if they were in a running race and their offset fell off, they wouldn't care, they'd just keep sprinting to the finish line. In actual fact, it was involved in 32 prior running races and left the offset on the ground every single time. Doesn't care for offset. Do you want to have a look? Here we have a box, an extremely riveting box. That sounded sarcastic, didn't it? But it actually is very exciting. No sarcasm intended. Now, it goes without saying that what's inside this box is not for the weekend club or average golfer. The weapons inside this box are tour calibre only. To be honest with you, I don't know why I'm doing this, okay? RF Proto, Robbie Fowler's back. What? Yeah, no, I said Ricky. Let's attempt to get this out of the box without. I am that kid, by the way, that just rips everything open. So, I can't really do that with this, so I'm like, nicely. I'm not joking, I've honestly waited for this video. I've not seen these in the flesh. This is it. Oh, baby. I mean, this for a Cobra fan is probably as good as it gets, especially a Ricky fan at that. A fancy card with face. So these are one of 750 in the world, 100% CNC milled limited edition set designed and crafted by Cobra Golf's Ricky Fowler. And there he is, handsome chap. But so this is quite a special moment for me. I hope Cobra aren't expecting these back. I know they are. We can pretend that they got lost. It's displayed in such a way that I feel like I need to put gloves on, like I'm gonna extract the Mona Lisa from the Louvre Museum. Like I need to hang from the ceiling. Mission Impossible. Bal. This has got to be the long iron. We're gonna guess at four. Surely. Four, 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 four. Oh baby, I hope I'm allowed to do this. We'll soon find out. Now to the bit that everyone's talking about with the offset that there isn't any. I don't know what you're talking about. I just look at these and start vibrating like an uneven washing machine. They even feel fancy. So this video is not about numbers. I'm going to be showing you no numbers of these irons. Do you know why? Because it's not about the numbers. It's the experience. It's a collector's item. And if I had these and owned these, I wouldn't even be hitting them, is what I'm saying. So to enjoy the experience a little bit more, I'm going to take these out for a virtual few holes. And we're going to start with the four iron. They're absolutely gorgeous behind the ball. It's crazy how small the head seems compared to the actual hosel. The hosel, I don't think it's any thicker, but it looks really thick because the head's so thin. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just look how thin this iron is. It's crazy, you can barely see it at that angle. See it? <laughs> Ooh. Right. Please be kind. That was starters. Feels pure. So, TML crowd participation time again. What's your favorite numbered iron in the golf bag? Which one makes you feel most comfortable? Put it in the comment section below. The reason I say that is because this number here is Ricky's favorite. And even though the likes of the four and the five iron do have an intimidating side to them, they're all based around the seven iron. Ricky wanted the entire set to have the aesthetics, the visuals, the feel of that of a seven iron. And it does, it feels, I don't know, it feels shortish. It feels like I'm in control of a four iron, even though it's still a knife. Okay, so we've got 143 yards left in here. Obviously these are very traditional lofts. I'll go through the specs with you shortly. So I'm just gonna go relatively easy pitching wedge. Hopefully get it on. So I am going to be hitting a few, but also I'm going to be taking these out on the course to utilize this baby. Obviously with it being Cobra, we've got Cobra Connect with Arcos, so you can pair it to your phone, get all your stats and compete against your mates. It's a cracking little thing, it really is. This is going to have to be a little choke down 
pitching wedge 133 we've got par 3 oh it's so pure I've pulled the pants off of it but and what about oh no 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 so you'll see here rev 33 meaning as the card says this is the 33rd revision of these irons 32 previous iterations before getting what Ricky states as the perfect irons, the 33rd version. Back to the 4 iron. Funnily enough, it made me think. I want you to close your eyes for a second and visualise your first tee shot. It's minus 5 outside, Celsius or Fahrenheit, doesn't really matter. You've got so many layers of clothes on, you can barely swing. You had a few sherbets the night prior. You open your eyes, you look down and you see this. <laughs> Remember, it's tour caliber, not pub crawl to frozen tea box caliber. But who knows, you could be the ultimate ball striker. Like this one. Oh, actually was. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Into the trees. Get out of there. Oh dear. I am for safety. Now what? I don't want to get these dirty in this Swamp. <laughs> oh, members bounce. All jokes aside though, I could actually play these. Soft, soft, soft. So for everyone interested in the specs, you will receive four to pitching wedge. KBS Tor C taper shaft. Tor Velvet Align grips with Cobra Connect. So with that, you'll be looking about 2,500 US for a set of these babies. If you're in Australia, I'm pretty sure Golfbox have secured a few sets, so I'll put a link down below to check it out if they've not already gone. Okay. Bit of a nervous laugh every time I break the four iron out. Trees right, trees left. Pond life short. And the rest is a bit of a surprise. I need these. <laughs> I need these irons in my life. Four iron. Long irons are probably my strongest part of my game, so I feel pretty confident still with this. So I'll find the spec table and put it down below, but seven irons, 34 degrees, pretty traditional, as you would expect for this kind of iron. But I'm going to attack this with the 46 degree pitching wedge with 145 yards left in. I tried to draw that round, but uh, yeah. If you end up being one of the lucky owners of one of these, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that these have gone through the full treatment. Stuff your little pedicures. This thing's had a full 155 minute pamper pack. Spoiled. But back on planet Earth, what that actually means is it takes 155 minutes to make each individual iron head. Very, very crisp feel, sound, beautiful. It's 100% hand milled, forged twice with 10, 12 carbon steel. Right, par five to finish. Another excuse to get the four iron out. Love it, actually love this thing. Nope, no, 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 no. no. Somehow, Ricky wanted to slam a tungsten weight in the toe of this A4 paper iron to obviously offset the hosel weight and balance out the CG within the iron head. Don't worry guys, I've been here before. I hit that rock, didn't it? Great. What is that? It's a crocodile. I mean, there are 750 sets available. I'm sure Cobra won't mind one disappearing. Again, an experience like this is driving a supercar around a circuit. You don't get this chance very often. You're probably not <laughs> suitable to be doing it 
but it doesn't mean you can't light those back tyres up and have a bit of fun, hence why we're going to be taking this out on the golf course. But if you want any more information on this, I'll tag the Golf Box article down below. They did a great blog on this, full of information. Go and check it out and the availability of price and specs, all of it. And thank you as always for watching, guys. If you're not a part of Team Al, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm streaming on Twitch. And again, if you want to get more involved with the Team Al activities, you've got to join the Team Al Discord server. The link is below. We'd love to see you there. Thank you, guys. So if you purchase this, you can expect a limited edition box. What? Can we can you can we go up please?